We are going to turn this entire space into a pond with an overflow that will go into a about a thousand gallon, excuse me, 3,000 gallon, I had to do the math real quick, about a 3,000 gallon uh, rain exchange system. So all of this grass from here all the way back over there is all gonna be pond all the way up to that brick wall. We are turning this space into an outdoor aquatic oasis. We're gonna have Stack Slate Spheres. We'll have one over there with a little Babbly Brook stream dumping into the pond there. The whole pond will overflow into the basin back over there. We've got a wetland filter that's gonna go in over here. We have all the bells and whistles on this, plus a couple more spheres to kind of accentuate the curves and turns in this pond, give it some more shape, but also carry through that design element with the stack slate. So we're gonna work our way from this side of the yard all the way back over that way. Good morning, everybody. It's Chris and Dan from Team Aquascape. We have an incredible new project that we're working on today. It is a massive rain exchange system. We are turning the entire yard into a water feature. So we've got Dan over here, as well as Chris, and then we have Kobe and Jonathan here on day one of this enormous project out here in Geneva, Illinois. We are standing in the middle of, well, pretty much an all grass backyard, and we are going to turn this entire space into a pond with an overflow that will go into a, about a thousand gallon, excuse me, 3,000 gallon, I had to do the math real quick. About a 3,000 gallon uh, rain exchange system. So give you a little overview. Rain exchange system is gonna go over here. Here's the beautiful home. All those beautiful windows, sliding doors. Looks like we've got a living room, kitchen area, kitchen window right there. Beautiful brick patio. We've got a sunken fire pit over here. And then all of this grass from here all the way back over there is all gonna be pond all the way up to that brick wall. We are turning this space into an outdoor aquatic oasis. So these boys are gonna get digging, right? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna strip out all the sod, get the pit in, go ahead and get all of that dirt up, built up over here, flatten all this out, and then we'll strip the rest of the grass. So we're gonna work our way from this side of the yard all the way back over that way. So looks like the guys are unloading. I'll go ahead and shut up and we'll get moving. What a difference a day makes. We have now completely destroyed the backyard and we have a huge mountain of dirt to prove it. Dan is still working on cleaning up the reservoir area for our 100 aqua blocks. That's a 3,000 gallon rain exchange system that's going in. Our hole is about five feet deep. Let me go ahead and bring the camera over and I'll show you what's happening. So we've got Jonathan and Luis down in the hole. You can see how we're cutting all those sides straight up and down. I can't believe we didn't run into more roots from this maple or from that Don Bald Cypress, but we didn't, which is awesome. You'll see a little little speck of green down there. That is a four inch drain tile that's running underneath. Thanks, Luis. That is going to now establish our bottom elevation because I do not want to dig that thing up. So we can't dig any deeper than that. So fortunately for us, the top of that pipe is only about four inches higher than where we wanted to be at the bottom. So we'll just have to build up that backside just a little bit in order to compensate for the height of our aqua blocks, which you see over here. So we have 33 triple stacked aqua blocks. So these things go about 52 inches tall so we wanted to be about 58 inches for the depth of our hole on the back side where grade is falling away we're gonna only end up at about 54 which only gives us about a two inches above our aqua blocks on that back side I'll show you what I mean once we get the hole kind of cleaned up I'll drop an aqua block in there and really explain what I'm talking about as far as the respective grades but Dan is continuing to add to our mountain of dirt Corey and Jack have already taken one truckload of piece out of here fortunately we have the right tool for the job we've got our old trusty New Holland 190 out here. The skidster is moving dirt in and out. We have just barely enough width on both sides. We've got about 18 inches on both sides of the skidster between the fence panels. So we have room to turn around right in front and then as well out on the street in the parkway where we're loading up trucks. So you can see that little speck of dirt back there. We got to clean that up so that we're not grinding it into the pavement and making angry neighbors. So we are making progress, but we're going to work on getting the hole dug. We'll get the reservoir completely in today. And then I think what we'll do is we're going to come up over here and start 
start getting this area prepped and ready for that stream. What's going to happen is there's going to be a stack slate sphere sitting in a pooling area up top and then a Babbly Brook stream that will kind of meander down between the patio and this maple tree that will dump into the pond which starts somewhere over into here. The whole pond itself goes from here all the way over to about right there by the back skidster tire. So this entire area is going to be pond. We're going to build steps down into the pond. We're going to be adding two steps as almost a continuation of these steps down. We will build two steps inside the pond that will mirror these steps inside the liner. So we'll, the top step that we'll build will be just above water and the bottom step will actually be underwater and then that will let everybody down into the pond. We've got some cool stuff that we're going to work on over here. So I can't wait to show you that and explain it to you. But I think we'll kind of sneak over here and start setting some of this stuff, get that sphere. Our plumbing for waterfall area is going to run this way. At the same time, we are also going to dig in some electrical conduit that was provided by the homeowner so that we're already here, we're already digging. We might as well help them out and make it nice and easy on them. So I don't know what Dan's doing, putting dirt back in the hole. He should be taking it out, but I'm sure there's a reason for it. Oh, I see what's going on. He's building up that backside. Smart, smart thinking. Okay, so I wanna do illustrate the depth of this hole. So here's our triple stack large aqua blocks. So each one of these will constitute 32, 64, 96 gallons, right? So we've got about 100 gallons of storage in each one of these triple stacked aqua blocks. With that said, we have a six by five footprint. So we've got about 30 of these. So we have a 3000 gallon system. But what I wanted to show you is everything sloped away. So you can see this was existing grade right about here. So Dan built that up. You can see the grass right there at that orange paint. And that is right at the top of the aqua blocks. Over here, if I were to move this aqua block over, the top of the aqua block will be about four and a half inches below grade there. Here, it's right at it, as you can see. So we ended up building up this back section a little bit. That way we can create a nice edge, make sure that we are totally utilizing all 100 gallons of each triple stack aqua block because of the height of this, because our liner, needs to go up four to six inches at least past the height of these aqua blocks. Remember, we're gonna have about an inch of gravel along the tops, and of course, we're gonna have rock work and that kind of stuff, and those rocks are gonna be anywhere from six inches thick to 18 inches thick. So we just wanna make sure that the stuff we're using down here is to scale, but we wanted to make sure that our hole was dug deep enough. So as you can see, it is. We're gonna put a small bedding layer of sand on just to level things out down here, but this pipe dictated how deep we could go because we didn't wanna dig out or move our reservoir over over, we could only go to the top of this pipe because I did not want to relocate this at all. So that actually established our elevation. So it's forcing us. Ideally, we wanted to go about six inches deeper than where we're currently at, but because this pipe runs right through that corner of our reservoir, we can't go any deeper there and I didn't want to sacrifice on volume. So what we're going to do is elevations worked out. We're going to add six to eight inches of soil on that backhand side and then that will be just a nice gentle overflow area. Now, when I swing this triple stacked aqua block over here, you can see I've got about 16 to 18 inches of grade above the top of my aqua block. So it's a considerable grade change over the course of about the eight feet width of the reservoir from the house side all the way to this back side. So we just wanted to make sure that we dug our hole to the proper depth. Now we are going to locate our pump vaults. Normally when we do these pondless reservoirs with two pump vaults, we like to keep the pump vaults right next to each other, occupying two of the aqua block spaces. So what I'm going to do is really take into consideration consideration the overall design knowing that there's going to be a patio like a small seating area patio up over there just with like a little bench uh, kind of a destination thing and there will be steps coming down into and on top of the reservoir here I don't want to place the pump vaults in an area where they're going to obstruct my creative freedom on how I'm going to rock the top of this reservoir so I'm gonna go ahead and start playing around put my thinking cap on and try and picture where these boulders are going to go on top of the reservoir so that I can locate these two pump vaults appropriately we don't want to have them over in that corner because we'll never be able to get access to them or it'll be very difficult to disguise them and to have access to them. So I'm going to move them out. So just give me a second. I'll put the camera down and we'll go ahead and locate those pump balls. Out of, uh, 